In this video, I'm going to teach you how to integrate e to the power x. So we have our integral here and we're doing it with respect to x. And the key realization that you have to make to be able to do this easily is to realize that a is simply a constant. So this might be 2, 3, 4, for example. It's just a simple number. And that's going to be important for integration later. The second realization you have to make is you can actually do a nice substitution. You can remember that e to the power of a natural logarithm, remembering that the natural logarithm is log to the base e, all cancels down. So actually, e to the ln a is simply a. And as a result, we can replace this a here with this expression. I'm going to do that there. So all I have done is replace a with this expression that we know is actually equal to a. So we get this expression here. And we're going to use simple power laws. We've got e to the ln a raised to the power of x. So that is the same as just multiplying this here by x. So we just use simple power laws. And we've now got this expression. And it may look like this is more difficult, but it's actually going to work out quite well. So we've now got something that we can integrate by using a substitution. And there is an ob obvious substitution, which is to make all of this equal to u. So we're going to let u be equal to all of this expression here. And remember that ln a is simply a constant, so we've got a constant times x. And you'll remember that the derivative of something like 2x is simply 2. So the derivative of this is simply going to be the constant term. So we get this simple derivative. We want to replace this dx, so we have to rearrange this to get dx equals. So we rearrange that, we get dx is du over ln a. So we've got everything that we need to do the substitution. So we're going to replace this here with u. And I'm going to replace dx with this expression here. And that's what I've done up here. So just replaced this with u, because that's what we said was u, and replaced the dx with this expression. We now get that this is a constant, so we can take that out of the integration. And so we simply have to do the integral of e to the power u. And the integral of e to the power u is very simple. It's actually e to the power u. And so this is what we get. We've added in the constant of integration. We don't want to do the integration in u. That's not very helpful. So we need to remember that this u is equal to this here. So we can change this from being in u to being in our x. So we do the substitution backwards. So we're substituting back for our u into our x ln a. And we get this expression here. And this can be rewritten like this. So we're doing backwards, undoing some of the things that we did. And we should remember that this is actually equal to a. Right at the very beginning, we realized that this was a. So we can actually replace this with our a. And we get this expression. And that is our integral. So you can now integrate e to the power of x. So if you want to integrate 2 to the power x, 3 to the power x, it's always this expression. Just replace a with the number, and you've done it. Hopefully, this was helpful to you. Thank you very much for watching.